What is going on everyone, Rick Strix here, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, be sure and hit that subscribe button, you won't regret it, I promise. And if this video helps you today, then be sure to drop a like on it, and leave a comment and let me know what you thought on the video. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to permanently turn off the automatically download high resolution textures on Fortnite. Now this setting, a lot of people have been trying to turn it off, but it keeps turning itself back on guys. And there is a reason for that, and I'm now going to show you in this video how to make sure that that setting never turns back on again. It's really easy and it's really simple, let's get straight on with the video. So the first thing that you want to do, is you're going to want to be pressing your Windows button and your R key at the exact same time on your keyboard. So your Windows key and your R key. And if you do that correctly, a little run box should show at the bottom left hand side in 3, 2, 1. Timing's a bit out there, but yeah. So once this um, box is here, just type in percent update up percent and then hit OK. And then right at the top it says app data, just click that and then you're going to want to click local. And then in here, somewhere, it will say Fortnite game. Um, it takes me a second to find it, but I do get there in the end. But once you find it, just go into that folder there and click saved and then the next one is going to be config and then windows client guys and then these are the settings that you need so just right click on your game user settings you don't need to go inside the file just right click it and go ahead and click properties and make sure your read only button is not ticked that's really important if you want to change the setting and you have that ticked every time you reload up the game it, it will still be there um, and it's going to be on so make sure you turn off read only the next step is to make sure the game shut down and then go to your Epic Games launcher and click the three dots that are just underneath the Fortnite game and then when you've when you've done that just go on to options guys and in here is what do you see the actual main setting itself um, and they never tell you this obviously but this is actually where the setting is so you need to turn it off here before you can turn it off in the game itself so every time you turn it off in just the game when you reload the game it reads that it's on through the Epic Games launcher and it automatically will turn it back on for you. But don't worry, I've done the testing. If you do it like this, it will not turn back on. So once you've unticked it, press save. Um, and then all you're going to want to do now is retick on the dots and just click verify. Just, you know, just to double check that um, it's all cool. Um, and then, yeah. All you need to now do is load up the game and turn the setting off in game and you will be chilling guys it will not turn itself back on if you want to make sure that you don't turn itself back on 100 percent then once you've turned it off in the game you can then shut fortnite down again and go back to that part and retick the read only button guys and you will be chilling the setting will never turn back on again and you don't have to worry about space being wasted um or just complete lagging because you're constantly downloading while you're playing so yeah if this helped in any way be sure to smash the like button guys leave a comment on today's video subscribe if you are new and i shall see you guys in the next one yeah boy